What did I tell all of you? The cream rises to the top. Do you know how many conversations I've already had this year about people telling me that Cole Palmer's going to find it difficult? He might not be the same player. Maresca might not get the best out of him. What happens when a player of his quality gets tested time and time again? He just levels up every single time. We saw it last season. It's not like he wasn't recognised as an unbelievable talent last season. We saw him step up in games against United, against Everton. Already this season, he's got goal of the month against Wolves. And then what does he do when we need him most after Sanchez has made two mistakes? Cole Palmer digged us out again. Four goals of the highest quality in the first half, breaking Premier League records. We're not talking about a player that is the best young player in the league anymore or the best under-23 player. We're talking about a player that is the best player in the league, one of the best players in world football because how many other people are doing it on this level? How did Gareth Southgate not start this guy in one game at all at the Euros? A player of his quality. It's clear for everyone to see. Every single time someone asks a question, on a public level about Cole Palmer and how he might find it and the task that he's going to be asked to complete, he proves everyone wrong. He, he silences all the critics, proves all the believers right. He's an unbelievable, exceptional player with the ability to do unbelievable, magic, special things on a football pitch. That free kick yesterday, I mean, that is right up there. And do you know what his reaction was? Oh, I haven't really been practicing, practicing. I've just been mucking about after training. This is pure football joy. This is the type of player that I think the world loves to watch play football. This isn't just Chelsea fans that are admiring him. I think this is a genuinely likeable character. This is the kid in the school playground just having fun. And he's that good. There's an air of relaxation about him. You know, he's just... People describe him as cold, and he just is. He, he's not off in interviews, but he's just so chilled out and relaxed, and it's like football comes so easy to him. He's just a bit bov, but he's anything but that on the football pitch. He just has a good time and enjoys himself and shows his quality on the highest level time and time again. What a fantastic performance. What else do I need to say? I could end the video now, because if it wasn't for him yesterday, Chelsea would have had a much more difficult time against Brighton. We'll get into the game because it was absolutely... I mean, the Premier League needs games of football like that. That was so difficult to take your eyes off, especially the first half. I know that's where all the goals were. But that was unbelievable. Six goals in a first half. Okay, there's negatives to that as well, but it's entertaining. How many snooze fests do we sit through now of managers playing a game of chess and it get a little bit stale and a little bit boring? That was end-to-end, -end, exposing teams' weaknesses at both ends. We saw both keepers make mistakes. We saw Brighton play an unbelievably high line, which in my opinion is complete. Their loss is completely down to their manager. I've been praising him and saying that he looks really promising. And for such a young age, being in a top-flight job, he's been doing really well. But how has he not seen what Chelsea can do to ha sacrificial high lines like we saw against Wolves, like we saw against Spurs? We are devastating on the counter-attack. Devastating in transition. Our players are so fast. They are adamant that they will be the first to the ball. They will beat their man. And they don't just go forward in ones and twos. We go forward with like four players. We look exceptional in that area of the pitch. And I cannot believe Brighton allowed us to do that. They played into our hands. Maresca almost set a trap and allowed that to happen. And ultimately, he won the game for that reason. And I know I said that Cole Palmer's individual brilliance definitely helped. And it did massively because Jackson, again, wasn't quite clinical enough, even though I think he had a really good game. And I think that players like Madueke had chances and Sancho obviously had a disallowed goal. And I think had we not been four, new up, uh, four goals up to two at half time, we, we would have pushed for more in the second half. But... I, I cannot get my head around why the Brighton manager hurts and I thought that was the right thing to do. It was everything I thought they wouldn't do because I just felt like, hasn't everyone got the idea now where Chelsea are devastating? 
it's another four goals. We've scored at a fantastic amount of goals already this season. And I have to praise a lot of people again. There were, at times, mistakes. Shoddy, lack of quality mistakes. Sanchez, he knows it. He's owned up to it after the game. I mean, he makes a lot, doesn't he? He's, if one thing's for sure, he's in, he's in, he brings a lot of instability to this defence. And I don't think he fills them with confidence. But every now and then, like we saw yesterday, there's a couple of really good saves in there. And he has the ability sometimes to do something good with his feet. So it's a risk versus reward situation with Sanchez. I think we have to see how that one improves. But I don't want to slate him too much because I think he's actually had an okay start to the season. I just think we all know he's got that in his game. I felt like I saw mistakes from a couple of our defenders yesterday on the ball. Uh that led to moments where Brighton could have done more. Brighton could have had more goals than they did. Especially in the opening few minutes. And ultimately, we were able to sort of... That's one of those... You know, at the beginning of the season, everyone was saying, our oh, Chelsea's defence might not be great, but we might be able to outscore teams. That's one of those games for me. That's exactly what we're looking at there. We have the quality going forwards that... Even if there are defensive mishaps whilst this defence is getting better and it's learning and it's becoming more of a solid unit, our attacking quality is enough to get us over the line. And that's exactly what happened. And we're now sat in a like a great position. It's another win against a really tough team. It's a game that absolutely lifts the atmosphere at Stamford Bridge. Sancho looks great. I'm going to have to give credit to Enzo Fernandes again because he was the first player to actually identify how high Brighton's attack uh, defensive line was and be the first player to get the ball over the top and attack that space and allow players to run onto his pass. He was the first guy to do that. Levi Colwell followed soon after. And I have to praise these players for their awareness. Enzo looks okay at the moment. You know, he actually probably looked a little bit better at times than he's looked all season. I felt like there were moments where I felt like I was starting to see the Enzo Fernandes that I expect to see. Casado, I mean, this is one of the best central midfielders in the Premier League at the moment. He's running the show for us in that area between the defence and our attacking players. I trust him a lot at the moment to do his job perfectly because he's shown us that he can. Fullback wise it's so refreshing to see Gusto on the pitch. It's so refreshing to see a sense of camaraderie between the players because they're all helping each other out. They're fighting for each other. They're trying to get each other assists. There's a serious level of competition in this squad again that the fact that players who are scoring hat-tricks in midweek can't even start a game in the Premier League. Players of the quality of Jao Felix can't start a game for Chelsea. This is what it should look like to play for Chelsea because... This is what we had in the past. We had Drogba starting up front. We had Anelka and Torres battling it out to play. Serious players who can't start every single game brings another level to the squad. And that's what we're seeing right now. An exceptional game yesterday, especially in the first half. I thought defensively in the second half we were a little bit better as well. I don't really have any negatives on yesterday. As much as we made mistakes, they're individual errors. As a team, it's so clear now how we're trying to play. I do think at times there's an issue of quality or inconsistency, but I've said that, that's going to happen with young players. But if we carry on like this and teams play into our hands like Brighton did, then this Chelsea team looks seriously, seriously scary. And I'd be worried. And if I was a manager, I'd be thinking, how on earth do I stop this? And what I'd be worried about is if you stop Chelsea in transition or you try and stop Cole Palmer because you believe he's the biggest threat, then you need to be aware that this Chelsea team on the ball, in and around low blocks, I believe it's good enough to start breaking them down. And I believe there's enough quality in and around this team and the attacking areas. If Cole Palmer gets isolated from a game, even though I believe he'll rise to the test, as we're seeing, the other players will cause a lot of hurt too. And this Chelsea team, I'm I'm starting to back it. I'm starting to believe that this is the best football we've seen in the last two years. And it's so refreshing to see. And I'm seeing Chelsea fans with smiles on their faces. And I have to give praise to Maresca because at the moment, 
He's learned, he's showing that he's learning from his mistakes and we're moving in the right direction. And there's a lot of negativity swimming around. People saying, oh, when you scratch below the surface, it's not as good as it seems. But do you know what? When the football's like this, it's scintillating and we look unstoppable. Come on, Chelsea. This is, this is what I want to see. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. If we can get 30 likes, that'd be unbelievable. If you even want to drop a cold emoji in the comments, I'd love it. Let's just show some appreciation for this guy because we've got one of the best players in the world at Chelsea again. How good does that feel? I'll see you in the next one.